What's very important to me is to understand the client and their product. Because I see the interior design element as the packaging for this product. For instance, if it's a restaurant, what's the food, what's the menu? If it's a hotel, you know, what is special with this hotel? Once we understand that, we will look at the building. Then we look at the street, and then we look at the neighborhood, then we look at the city, then we look at the country. And during this process, by look at all of these different angles, we get inspired. And we usually then find what we think the job should be. My work life and my personal life sort of spans between London and New York. I think you can learn a lot from different cities and different countries, but it's all about culture at the end of the day. So it's all about a design being contextual to the project you're doing. We're working on a hotel in New York for Thompson Hotel, 5 at Beekman Street. I mean, it's an incredible building. It was built in 1863. And it has this central atrium, glass atrium, that is just so spectacular. The balconies look like dragons. So it's absolutely incredible. And I think it's a massive challenge to keep the feeling, the atmosphere that is there. Because the way I want it to feel is like we opened the doors and found this amazing space. We know a lot of antique dealers and we go to all the markets and uh, it's a lot of research. Six to nine months before it opens you need to start looking and uh, the client needs to be prepared to, be, to have a big warehouse so you can just buy and put it away. We created this space that has a sort of vintage feel to it. Of course most of it is new but we put it together in a way so that it feels like it still belongs to this building and as well that we sort of painstakingly worked on the detailing and the finishes. A lot of sort of care and sort of love went into it. And it was a great project. And it's uh, one of my favorite in terms of what we achieved with lights and interior architectural detailing. I find it very difficult to um, design for myself. When I do my own place, it's sort of, my mind goes blank. We just set up our New York office and we are researching it at the moment, so I can't really say too much.